Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Abigail and this is Strawberry Stitches Podcast episode 4 and I am always so awkward in the intro but once I get past that, it's all good. I just wanted to first off say thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. I think it's really cool that I hit it before my one year anniversary on YouTube. October 22nd was my one year anniversary on YouTube, so I think it's really cool that I got 1,000 subscribers just in time for that. In celebration of 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a knit and chat Q and A. If you have any questions for me, you can leave them in the description, but I also have an Instagram story highlight um, over my Instagram, um, which is just Abigail Make Stuff. Another thing I wanted to address is this setup is in a different place. I hope you guys like it. I wanted to change it up a little bit and I thought this was pretty cute. I also wanted to address, um, I got my braces off, so if you clicked on this video and you were like, there's something different, but I can't place it, it's, uh, my teeth are free, they are no longer in prison. Um, I did that, today is Wednesday, and I did that on, no, sorry, today is Thursday, and I did that on Tuesday, so I actually kind of postponed this podcast episode because I wanted to film it with my newly free teeth, and I'm really happy about that. Oh, so much has happened since the last podcast. Um, I feel really bad that I like put it off for so long. Um, but I just really wanted to like get a couple things out of the way before I did this. Um, one of them being my braces getting off and the other one being I was waiting for yarn to come in because I really wanted to have an acquisition section because I knew if I filmed it last week, the next week I would have like a ton of yarn coming in because it was my birthday and we ordered a lot of yarn for my birthday and that just came in this week. So Monday and Tuesday yarn came in both those days. We still have two more orders coming in but I think that'll be next week and I didn't want to wait. I know this is a long intro but I also wanted to say in my past couple podcasts I was talking about um, me and my family going to the PI Fiber Festival and I was going to vlog it and that was going to be a vlog for the beginning of October. Unfortunately, the Fiber Festival was canceled due to Hurricane Fiona, so we did not get to go, which I'm pretty sad about, but I think we'll probably get to go next year. But with the hotel money refund, we did place an order um, at Wool Warehouse that day, so I'll get to show that to you. And I have talked long enough. I'm sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder because it's so weird to see me without braces. Um, I feel like everyone around me has gotten used to them now, but um, I haven't, I don't see me a lot just in mirrors and stuff, so um, seeing myself in the viewfinder, it's really weird. Sorry for that really long intro. I'm going to go ahead and get into my finished objects, which I am wearing one. This is my It's Not a Sweatshirt by Paula Pereira, um, published through Knitting for Olive, I think. Um, and wait, is it Paula? No, I'm sorry. That's the Daily Pullover. It's Paula Pereira. Paula Pereira. This is um, this is It's Not a Sweatshirt by Pernell Larson, and I used worsted weight yarn rather than fingering plus mohair, and I love the way it turned out. I'll like show it to you, like I'll stand up a little bit, but I'll also just like insert a picture of me wearing it because I'm taking Instagram pictures now, um, like more frequent Instagram pictures, so here's a picture of me wearing it. This is knit with Will the Andy's Worsted in the color Conch. I have a notebook so that I can remember it, all my notes about my sweaters that I make. Okay, I started this on August the 9th and I finished it September 6th. So, um, very shortly after my last podcast, I think. I was pretty close to finishing it on my last podcast and my last video. Um, I think it was already finished on my last video 
by the time I had like uploaded my last video. The yarn I used was Wool Dandies Worsted from Knit Picks, which is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. Um, it's a very affordable yarn. Like, it's great. And if you just want a natural fiber, but you don't want to spend that much money, this is a great yarn for that. Um, it's a little itchy, but I'm also kind of sensitive. It still, it keeps me really warm though. I bought 12 skeins, but I only used 10. And I actually, me and my mom actually took advantage of their summer sale. So this sweater was like 30 Canadian dollars, which was great. Um, but it's still pretty cheap without a sale going on. I sized up half a needle size throughout all the sweater. Um, so the main body was um, five millimeter and that worked pretty well for me. I did the size medium, but after I had done the increases for the raglan, I measured the bust and I realized I wanted it a bit bigger. So I went ahead and increased the size large um so it's like a nice oversized fit yeah so that's the sweater i really enjoyed it um my tension is a bit off but that's fine i've been wearing it a lot it's just like such a good like sweatshirt so i just wear it around the house like a sweatshirt but i think it would get more wear if it was a dk weight i think i'm kind of done with worsted for now I'm more leaning towards DK because worsted, well maybe like with the winter months, I'll enjoy worsted again. I just like, I gravitate towards my two DK weight sweaters rather than my worsted sweaters to wear around the house. It's just a bit more comfortable. I really like it. it has a double folded collar, a three stitch raglan, and kind of balloons, like it's not really balloon sleeves, but you do like decrease some at the sleeves oh and one sleeve has an extra stitch all the way through because i did not count correctly so um one sleeve is one stitch bigger than the other but un until i got to the ribbing then i made them both even i really enjoyed knitting this sweater it did not take very long it was pretty much like a guilty pleasure knit like no, no new techniques just fun <laughs> knitting um, Mindless Stockinette, which I absolutely love. And I really do like this color, although on the website it was a bit duller, so I thought it would come out more muted and less saturated, but when it came in I was like, whoa, that's a very bright pink orange. <laughs> um, but it's still really pretty. I think it goes good with my hair, and I will be wearing it a lot, which I've already worn it a lot, because it is sweater weather now and it's amazing the next finished object i have well there, it's two i have finished two soapy scarves um the first one being this one <laughs> it's um with my drops lima left over the colorway goldenrod um i really love this and i wear it a lot i just love the soapy scarf I think it's amazing. Doesn't really go good with this outfit I have going on. The yellow and the pink don't look great together. But I really like the Sophie scarf. I um did the size. I did the first size on it and I only but then like I did a couple rows of just like plain stockinette without increasing or decreasing in the middle. So it's about like the length of it is in between the first and second size. Um Sometimes I wear this in my hair, and but most of the time this one I just wear around my neck. I think it looks really good with my Ingrid sweater, and I will be knitting a lot more of these because I kind of like not having a huge scarf but still keeping my neck warm. Um, the alpaca in it makes it a little prickly, but I think that's fine. If I'm cold, I don't feel the prickle. Like if it's cooler outside, I don't feel the prickle. Um, but if I'm wearing it inside, I can start to feel the prickle. <laughs> but it doesn't, it hasn't really bothered me yet. But I think it's gorgeous, and this is really fun to knit. I finished it, like, a while ago. I can actually tell you when I finished it. I started it on August the 24th and finished it on August the 28th. 
so it took me about four days to do and I really enjoyed it. It was my first time doing an eye cord edge, which was really fun. And I just love Drops Lima so much that it was nice to pick up this yarn again. And yeah, so that's the first selfie scarf. It looks really good in my hair, but I'm not going to put it in my hair. The second selfie scarf is this one. I will untie it. This one is a bit smaller because I was using scrap yarn. I was also using scrap yarn for this one, but I had a lot less left over. So I did the size small, but I only increased to 20 stitches rather than the recommended stitches. And then I knit for a couple rows straight, like a, quite a bit row straight before I decreased actually. Like this many without decreasing, and then I decreased again. So. It's a bit shorter, but um, it's this one is really good to wear in the hair. And it's merino wool, Knit Picks Precocia Worsted. So the pattern calls for three and a half millimeter needles. I think I sized up to 3.75, but this one I just did three and a half millimeter. The reason I did 3.75 for this one is because this is technically worsted yarn, but it's a bit more in between DK and worsted. That's the Sophie scarves. And that's actually all my finished objects. I don't have a lot because um, I've been working on three different sweaters. There's a spider up there and I really hope it stays up there and doesn't move. I haven't got a lot of finished objects done. You would think it has been over a month since my last podcast so I should be I should have had a lot more finished objects but um the majority of September I was going back and forth between two sweaters so I would do the yoke of one sweater and then I do the yoke of the other sweater and then the body and then the body and now I'm just on sleep island on both of those sweaters so the first one is the Monday sweater by Petite Mitt um this is my mohair sweater um as you can see it's the body's completely done and bound off there are actually no needles on this because both of my 16 inch needles are taken up so i have to wait for one of those to be free so i can do the sleeves but this was so fun to knit on it just took forever because um my it was my first time working with mohair let me get out my notes about it. Okay, so yeah, I started this on the 6th of September, so like very shortly after my last podcast, because I think in my last podcast, the yarn hadn't come in yet, and then I think the next day it came in or something. Um, but I did cast on right away when it came in. It's using one strain of Drops Flora. A little tangled and another strain of drops kid silk i had um kind of a weird selection to choose from because some of the stuff was out of stock so this was my second choice and then i didn't know what to pair with it so i decided to go completely different color mohair and whenever the yarn came in i was like this isn't gonna look good together but it did i swatched and it looked really good together and I'm super happy with how this has is turning out. I shortened the body because A, I was tired of knitting the body and B, um, it's actually a really long body. I like the length of this sweater I'm wearing and I think it's like 20 inches. No, it's like, yeah, it's like 20 inches including ribbing and this was 20 inches without ribbing and then there's like a pretty big ribbing at the end. So I think I did about like 18 inches and then I did the ribbing. I really like it and I'm excited to wear it and it's motivating. I really want to finish it. So it's making me motivated to finish the two projects that have my 16 inch circular needles. Because I use interchangeables and they're both using my 16 inch cords. The Drops Flora yarn is a mix of mullein alpaca 
And then the mohair is mohair and silk. Um, this is a DK weight gauge. Um, I use the colorway 19 and 40. 19 for the flora and 40 for the drops kit silk. If I remember, the flora is coral, the colorway called coral. And I can't remember what the drops kit silk colorway is actually called. Um, I used the needles it called for. And I did hit gauge for my stitches, but my row gauge is a bit smaller, so I think that'll be fine. I think that'll just block out. This is also my birthday cast on, so yeah. <laughs> I don't really know if that means anything because I didn't cast it on on my birthday. It was just my September cast on that I was calling my birthday cast on. The other thing is both of the yarns are 210 meters. But I am running out of mohair faster than I am the drops flora. So that's just something that I noticed whenever I was knitting. And maybe that's just normal. Maybe you use more yards of mohair. Or maybe my tension is off. Like maybe I'm tensioning the mohair weird. I don't know. But it's okay because I think I'll still have enough yarn. I bought seven of each. So that should be enough. I think I overbought by a skein on both. And um, I made my body shorter. So I should be completely fine with yarn. If not, that's going to be sad because it's like all basically out of stock on Wool Warehouse. But that's fine. I'm pretty confident in the amount of yarn I have. Yeah, I have three skeins of each left. And I have two sleeves to do. And one sleeve should take only one skein of each, so that's fine. Okay, I'm super happy with using mohair for the first time. I love it, it's so soft, and I'm really excited to use mo more mohair in the future and like make different combinations. The next thing I'm going to talk about is my champagne cardigan, which you've seen since Maybe my first podcast. I think you saw that on my first podcast if you watched it. Um, let me get it out. I am like 20 rows away from finishing this thing. But I really wanted to do my podcast today. And like I could have finished it today and then done my podcast tomorrow. But I wanted to do my podcast today. But um, So you're getting a almost finished object. I'm on the ribbing of the second sleeve. This has been such a tedious thing to knit. But this is what it looks like. It's using Drops Alaska in the colorway Pearl White. And I'm doing it at like a tighter gauge so the fabric is pretty dense. So, so far this has um, 20 balls of Drops Alaska in it. Which is a lot. That's like a thousand grams of yarn. But yeah. I'm so ready to be finished with this one. And hopefully I'll finish it today or tomorrow. And I can get it blocking. Because it's going to take like 10 years to dry. Probably like all of October to dry. And then I can wear it for the colder months. It's just 100% wool. I think it's like recommended wool for like felting. So I have to be careful with it so I don't felt it. I cast on the size medium and I think I've done the exact thing for the medium size. I don't think I've done any alterations. I was playing yarn chicken but then in the wool warehouse order for this yarn I got two more skeins. Um, and oh no, I made it like way longer actually. I didn't follow, I did make an alteration. I made the body like quite a few more inches. So it goes like to my thigh, I think. Which is really good because I just wanted it to be like a winter jacket. So I didn't have to wear like my parka. Because if I wear like a wool sweater under it and then I have the wool cardigan, I should not need my huge winter jacket. That's That was my goal for whenever I started the sweater is I want to be able to not wear like any store-bought jackets for this winter. I started on June 24th, 
so it has taken me some months but I have worked on it on and off and this will be like probably my like most like I will probably feel the most accomplished after I finish this bad boy I am so ready for it to be done and the double knitting took like all of August but I am so happy for it to almost be done and I've been tucking in my ends as I knit the second sleeve so there's a lot less ends than it would have been and that's really good because it'll be less work for me to do after I have finished it so yeah that's the champagne cardigan by petite knit after I finish it I will be thinking about a new cardigan to cast on because it's kind of been fun to have like a huge project on my needles just to work on throughout a couple months. I've been eyeing up the Traveler's Cardigan by Ozetta. I would love to make that one. On to my next whip, which is right here. It, it is something I talked about in my last video in my It's My um, Fall slash Winter Knitting Plans. I actually like cast this on like very quickly after I finished that video because I was like I kind of need it for fall because it's lightweight and it's the Daily Pullover by Paula Pereira in my linen quill yarn. I have enjoyed knitting on this so much. It actually like I started it on September 9th and it's October 6th right now. So, it's actually gone by pretty quick for a fingering weight sweater. Um, I should, I think I'm going to try and finish it today or tomorrow. Like, I have like 15-ish more rows left to do before I start the ribbing on the sleeve. And then I will bind off and block it and be done. And this one will take not very long to dry because it's a fingering weight garment. The body's like kind of scrunched up. I used Janine's surprisingly stretchy bind off for the first time and I'm hoping that like scrunchiness will block out and just in general my tension on this sweater is bad so I hope that will block out. I love the color of this sweater and I think it's going to look really cute with my brown pants. I actually knit a big chunk of it while listening to an audiobook so when I think of this sweater I think of that audiobook. It's The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Marina Zapata. I listened to that book while I'm knitting on this sweater. So that's great. I love that book. So I just like powered through a lot of this sweater while listening to that audiobook. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can tell you about this sweater. I'm using Pearl Soho Linen Quill. I'm on my third hank. And I bought four hanks, so I will have some left over, a full hank and a half left over almost. So that's exciting to figure out what I can knit with that. I have no idea. I don't know if it would be a good hat. Like a scarf or something? I don't know. I'm using three and a half millimeter needles. And then for the ribbings, using 3.25 millimeter needles. And this was my first time doing a v-neck raglan. So that was fun. Except, well, I did a v-neck. The champagne cardigan is a v-neck raglan. So it was like the same thing. Except I just joined in the round after the v-neck on this sweater. And on the cardigan, you just continue knitting flat. Yeah. That's the daily pullover. I think that's all I have to say about this sweater. The next thing I want to talk about is the Moby Sweater Mini. I am knitting this for a baby that I know. <laughs> Um, one of our friends has a baby and, well, two of our friends has ha had recently had a baby and I have knit one of the said babies, an ingot sweater baby. <laughs> I have said baby so much. And, and I didn't want to give one baby a sweater and not give the other baby a sweater. I had previously bought DK yarn, DK baby yarn, and I got so excited whenever I realized this Moby sweater was in DK. So I cast on immediately when I realized that. So yeah, this is my first time doing cables. And you can see I messed up. But that's fine. The back looks really nice though. Which is sad because I wish the front didn't have that. But 
I got mixed up on which way I was doing my cables and I messed up. But I'm actually on the ribbing now. I'll hopefully finish it by next week. But yeah, I'm using a four and a half millimeter needle for the body and a four millimeter for the ribbing. And I'm using this yarn from our local yarn shop. It's a acrylic and nylon blend. And it's much more enjoyable than working. Excuse me. Focus. It's much more enjoyable than working with 100% acrylic. That nylon makes it a bit easier on my hands. But yeah, that's the Moby Sweater Baby. I also wanted to knit this because I wanted to like kind of trial this sweater pattern before I do the adult version. So now I am not gonna go into the adult version not knowing anything about cables. I'll have practiced on a smaller scale which is really good and I actually really want to make mine an orange color like this but a bit more brown and I'm very excited to do that but it'll probably be later this year that I get yarn for that because I have a lot of other plans before we get any more yarn oh I completely forgot to talk about the other sweater I have casted on. Monday, a drops order came in. My birthday drops order, kind of. The one that um, we had used the hotel refund money on. We had just ordered drops yarn. So that came in on Monday. And I have this much done of the back of... Sorry, it's um the Stockholm sweater v-neck. I have already a Stockholm sweater v-neck in Drops Lima Goldenrod. I wear it all the time. It's my favorite sweater. I love it so much. So I was like, I'll just do it again in the exact same yarn, but in a different color. And I've been loving this maroon color lately. So I'm really excited to get this done and I can wear it this winter. This is just the back because it's a drop shoulder. I haven't done a drop shoulder adult sweater in a while since my Ingrid sweater. So I'm really excited for that because I'm kind of tired of raglans right now. And yeah, that's all I have to say about this sweater. Hopefully it'll be very close to finishing by next podcast. I have one more whip that isn't a sweater. It's a gift knit for my friend back in the States. It's a Musselberg. And all I have is the crown done because I don't have the needles to work in the round. We did a Knit Picks order and I bought... um. 3.25 millimeter needles for 16 inches so that I can work on this sweater. So this is kind of on ice until I get those needles in. But I'm using the Patton's Croy Sock yarn from Yarnspirations. We have like a local craft store called like Fabricville that also sells yarn. And they have these Patton's Croy Socks and I love them. This is my first time working with it. But I loved working this crown, and I'm very excited to continue working on this. This is the colorway he said he wanted. He likes the dark green and blues. So I will hopefully get this to him so he can wear it this winter. If the needles come in, I think I'll just be able to zoom through it. Because it'll just be mindless stockinette for like a billion inches. <laughs> but I like this yarn, so I think I'll just be able to mindlessly knit on it for a while. I am using fingering weight yarn with 3.25. Whenever my mom has made these hats, she has used... I'm really sorry for that. I wish I could stop it. Um, our toilet just randomly runs. It's great. Whenever my mom has made these Musselbergs, she's used 2.75 millimeter needles with fingering weight yarn, but um, my friend said he wanted a looser hat, I mean a thinner fabric hat, because he lives in Arkansas, so I'm assuming he doesn't want something too warm because the winters don't get too cold there. That's all I have to talk about for this hat. I will have more to talk about it next podcast. Hopefully it'll be done by then, and I'll be able to show it to you in order to, like before I send it off to him. And I will also be sending him some Canadian goodies like ketchup chips 
maple cookies and all that because he said he really wanted to try ketchup chips so hopefully I'll be able to send him like a Canadian goodie package with his own hand knit hat. Okay, that is all I have for the whip section. I am resisting casting on a bunch because I have so many whips that I need to start finishing them. I have three whips extremely close to finishing. So once I finish the champagne cardigan and the daily pullover, I will probably cast on this yarn I'm about to tell you about. So I am now going to go into acquisitions. I'm going to start with the non-sweater quantities and move to the sweater quantities and I will tell you what each yarn is for. The first non-sweater quantity I have is this Cascade 220 Sport. I will be making the pink gloves out of this because it's really trendy to have a pop of red and I really love this color. So I think I will look really cute in my champagne cardigan and my pop of red penny gloves. I will cast these on once I'm done gift knitting for the year, I think. Um, I just have to get some gift knits off the needles and then I will be able to cast these on. But my mom has already started her penny gloves and I think I'm gonna really enjoy knitting on them. And this was actually bought from our local yarn shop because we gotta support the local yarn shops and they have some really nice yarn there. And hopefully I have enough. Like I think it cuts really close to the same amount of yards. Like I think I have almost exactly the amount of yards. I'm a little bit over. So hopefully that works out and I don't need to get another skein. But if I do, it's okay. I think it was $8, so that's fine. Okay, the other acquisition I have is for a gift knit. Um, it's... Oh my goodness, yarn is falling. Okay, a bunch of yarn just fell over out of my shelf and now it's kind of messy. But this is Drops Nepal. One of our friends wanted some ear warmers so I'm going to make her some ear warmers for the winter because she walks home from work and she has to protect her ears because she doesn't like wearing hats. So I'm going to make her some ear warmers from this yarn. My mom knit her a cow. So I picked a color from her cow so that she can match her ear warmers to her cow. And I think this is a really pretty color. Moving on to the next yarn acquisition is this Drops Nord. I think I'm just going to make socks out of this or a hat. I don't know which one. They were just having a sale and I liked this color so it was probably like four dollars for these two things. And it's always nice to have 100 grams of fingering sock weight yarn for a hat, scarf, or socks. I'll just figure it out and this will be for me, not a gift knit. Um, I really like the color and I really like the yarn too. It's 45% alpaca, 30% polyamide, and 25% wool. So it can be a good sock yarn. I might do that. Okay, moving on to sweater quantities. Yarn acquisitions. I'm going to start with my Drops Lima. This came in yesterday, but um, it was ordered on September 1st. So it took over a month to come in. We had emailed a warehouse about it, thinking like it had get, like gotten stopped at customs or something. And they said like, um, after six weeks, it can be called like a lost package or something. So we were just gonna wait until um, six weeks has passed and then we were gonna call it lost or whatever. And then whatever would have happened after that. But after they replied to our email on Monday, it came in on Tuesday. So that's kind of funny. So it's Drop Slima Blush Pink and Off White. And this is for the Marseille sweater. And I think that's gonna look gorgeous. I have, as you can see, it's already swatched up. And I'm so excited for this. Like, I wanna cast on right now, but I have to get some stuff off my needles first. And this is like a very pretty, like, I love this pink. It has like red and purple in it. And like, even like hints of like the off-white too. So. 
I'm really excited for this sweater. And I love Drops Lima. It's like my favorite yarn and it's so affordable. The next acquisition I have to talk about is this Drops Nord plus Drops Kit Silk. Um, I'm actually gonna get up and go get my swatch. I have my swatch. These two colors make this pretty fabric. I am so excited for this. I meet Gage for the Stockholm sweater. So I'm going to actually do, I have the Stockholm V-neck sweater on my needles right now. Um, after I finish my Monday sweater, because um, I don't want to mohair things on the needles at the same time. I'm going to start this Stockholm sweater crew neck version because um, I just love the Stockholm sweater. So I'm just gonna make patterns I love. I had looked for other options for this sweater. I almost thought about doing the cargo sweater by Kayabea Knitting Podcast, Rebecca, but I realized I don't wanna do a dark color for that sweater. I will probably do like a gold color or a, a light color. So I want the dark color to just be in stock in that. I was thinking about doing the no frills too because I have not done a no frills in wool. I did it in a cotton acrylic blend, but I don't think I'm in the mood for raglan right now. I think I will want to do a drop shoulder and have a double folded collar and all that because I want to try out drop shoulder with fingering plus mohair. So that's why I'm not doing the no frills. I have wanted to do a deep chocolate brown for a while and I love that the mohair makes it look a little bit more red because this is like cool tone. It's like warm. It's like you get them together and then they look very pretty. That is all my acquisitions. I feel like I kind of hyped it up a lot. It's just a lot for me. Um, I think in like other podcasts, it's not that much, but I'm kind of a bit, like I don't really like, like we do buy a lot of yarn, but it's more so like we buy it and then like I cast it on right away. So it goes in my whip section and not in my acquisition section. We do have more yarn coming in from Knit Picks. So I have um, from Knit Picks two sweater quantities worth of bare sport weight, like undyed sport weight little dandies. And also in that order is some dye. So I'm gonna learn how to dye some yarn and maybe think about doing a yarn shop. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna see how it goes with dyeing my own sweater quantities worth of yarn and knitting with that. And then if I, later on down the line, I'll decide if I want to do a yarn shop. And I think that's all I had to talk about today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, or subscribe, you can. If you don't, that's okay. And I will see you in my next video.